Welcome to our daily devotion. The Methodist Church of Barbados invites you to sing, pray, and worship with us as we declare God's glory and celebrate His mighty acts. Father God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we declare your greatness and awesomeness 
in our lives. We give you thanks for this virtual platform as we assemble in your holy presence and receive from your mighty hands. God, you are faithful. We ask that you guard us from the evil one and help us to abstain from every form of evil this world presents. This we ask through the power of your Holy Spirit. Raise back to life only that which is worthy of resurrection in Jesus' mighty name. We are not worthy, Holy Lord. Feed us and fill us with all your love and power, these worthless hearts of ours. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your unfailing love. Blot out our transgressions, wash away all sins and cleanse us afresh, creating us pure hearts, and renew your steadfast spirit within us. Father God, we thank you for your graciousness to us through all our years. We give you thanks for your agape love and your loving care which continues to fill our days. We praise your holy name. You have given us life and placed us in a world filled with your glory. We are blessed with family and friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. Dear God, fill our hearts with a hunger for you and grant us peace. Amen and Amen.
Ezekiel chapter 37, reading from verses 1 to 10. The Valley of Dry Bones The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, Suddenly, there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and to say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
dry bones come alive. The text is taken from Ezekiel chapter 37, reading from verse 3 to 5. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. As we reflect tonight, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts find acceptance in your sight, O God, our breath, our hope, and the Savior. This book, Ezekiel, was written by Ezekiel, who was a prophet and priest. His name means God's strength. What causes dry bones in our physical bodies? As we age, our bodies may reabsorb calcium and phosphorus from our bones instead of keeping the minerals in them. This makes our bones weaker. On reaching a certain stage, it is called osteoporosis. In our spiritual bodies, when we feel dry bones, such as depression, helplessness, hopelessness, bitterness, or other negative feelings taking over our lives, we through the Holy Spirit must make a choice to not claim or hold on to them. Our dry bones are in need of breath to bring them to life on this earth to serve God's purpose. Our breathing is in the praising when we say, O oh Lord, Amen, Hallelujah, we breathe. Let us breathe out our sorrows, breathe out our sins, and breathe all God's fullness in. Why did God ask Ezekiel, can these bones live? God desired to know if Ezekiel had faith in him to restore the bones. It is a message of hope that God can revive his people and turn them into a mighty army. It also speaks to us individually, no matter how dried up and worthless we may feel or how dead in trespasses and sins, God can restore us to life through his word and his Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, family in Christ, being aware of ourselves and being gentle with ourselves, we can receive Christ's loving and gracious rule, his victory over death and his resurrection life here and now. Through him, our humanity is restored and the dry bones can live. Thanks be to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We need to speak the word of the Lord over our dry bones, for God's word is powerful and have miraculous power. Steps to spiritual health, our life as a journey. You are loved by God. He knows your name. 
He have a plan for your life. The answer is to always seek the Lord first and ask the Holy Spirit to search our hearts and reveal any area that is vulnerable to spiritual attack or dryness. Pray for revival. Pray for the church and each other. Pray for spiritual renewal in our hearts and lives. Expect and believe. Press into God and ask for a deeper faith to expect the impossible to be possible. Choose always to walk by faith, not by sight, or what we may feel. As we are spiritually refreshed in our hearts, in the body of Christ and the church, all the world will know that Jesus is alive as we worship in his presence. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts and souls as we read the Word of God and meditate on it day and night. Are we walking in faith and victory? We need to set and keep our eyes on the promises of God. We only have one life journey. Say yes. To Jesus. Only God can revive our spiritual journey as we consider dry bones coming to life. We can easily find ourselves spiritually discouraged, dry, or spiritually dead. Without spiritual growth in worship, faithfulness, and the knowledge of God. Brothers and sisters, family in Christ. The Israelites had turned their backs on God and worshipped other gods. They spiritually rebelled in their hearts, which caused spiritual dryness. Let us, as a body of Christ, be very careful not to turn our backs on God or worship earthly gods for this is a root cause of dry bones. God is raising up the people of God for his name's sake, that all the world will know that he is holy. God is fulfilling his promises as he speaks life into hearts and lives that are spiritually dry or dead. Through the Holy Spirit, Hearts of flesh, hard hearts of stone are being replaced as God breathes into them. O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill us with life anew that we may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on us, breath of God, so shall we never die, but live with thee the perfect life of thine eternity. It is in the valley that we see clearly the hand of God in our lives. Mountaintop blessings are received following our valley experiences. It is usually in the valley we find spiritual growth as it draws us closer to God through prayer, study of the Bible, and listening attentively to the voice of God as it concerns His will for us. What we learn in the valley about the love of God, faithfulness, and power gives us spiritual boldness and the strength to worship Him on the mountain top. We need to be aware that there are valleys between each mountain top, 
and spiritual battles are fought and won in the valley. Dry bones will have flesh upon them and be covered with skin. The breath of God will flow and there will come alive. The gifts of God as it concerns the fivefold ministries, some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers will manifest to equip us for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 and 12. There are times the enemy of God will come against a person of faith. We need to remain faithful and trust God. Be assured that God is with us both on the mountain top and in the valley. We are never alone, no matter how we feel. No, never alone. No, never alone. He promised never to leave us. Brothers and sisters, family in Christ, let us choose to remain faithful and trust God to take us through our valleys and bring us to our mountain tops. Many people try to ease the valley pains and the experiences through drugs, alcohol, busyness, money, or denying the truth of God. Those things never help. They only make it worse. A person may feel Hopeless, helpless, those who see no hope may even turn to suicide to ease the pain. But that is not the answer. The answer is Jesus. Turn to God Almighty and wait upon Him. He only can speak life into spiritually dry, dead bones. People of God, rise up. Have done with lesser things. Give heart and soul and mind and strength to serve the King of Kings. Lift high the cross of Christ. Tread where his feet have trod. As siblings of the Son of Man, rise up, people of God. Amen and Amen.
Hallelujah. Dry bones shall live again. It is a brand new day. A brand new day has come. The sun will shine again. God is turning things around. Hallelujah. It is a brand new day. There is power in the mighty name of Jesus. We await the victories. For the battle belongs to the Lord. Breathe on us, breath of God. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill us with new life, that we may love what thou dost love, and do what thou would have us do. O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. May the peace of God rest and remain with us now and always. Amen and Amen. Thank you for being a part of our daily devotion. We trust it has been a blessing to you. Now together, let us hold fast to his word and may it dwell in all of us richly.